welcome back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. Today we're going to be doing my miscellaneous singles from this drawer. This is where I store everything so let's go ahead and get started. All right so I am still figuring out the best way to film these declutters um, where I can see that I'm in frame but also there's a good angle and we don't lose focus too much. Also, I received a complaint that my sound quality is not good, so I apologize. No one's ever told me it's low volume. I have a microphone, I used it, and the volume sound quality was way worse than with what I normally use. So if you have a microphone recommendation, hit me up. So in the drawer, you probably noticed I have these two Flower Beauty, um, this is Desert Lights and then Jungle Lights. I keep these with my singles because I don't ever reach for this kind of a palette with my eyeshadow palettes, but if it's with my singles, I'm more likely to reach for it for the purpose of using it as a topper shade or um, something of that nature. So. That's why these are in my single drawer, even though they're technically palettes. So let's move on to the next section of that giant drawer. Also, uh, my nails, I peeled them off and then they proceeded to break. So I've painted them with a nail strengthener and we're just gonna move on from that uh, and try to ignore how janky they look. All right, let's see if this angle works any better because I was not loving the first one. I wasn't loving the first one. Okay, I think I have everything pulled out of my drawer that is not ColourPop or J-Cat and is not a cream of some sort. Um, well, actually, these are J-Cat, but they're um, glitters. So this first one that I have is I'm Impressed. And this is like a pink and brown. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one. And then this one is like a gold and pink. And this is Twinkle Twinkle. And I've never used these, so I'm just going to pass them along. And then I have this one that is less bitter, more glitter. And this is like a silver, purple, blue, and I'm going to keep this one. I don't super love the texture. It is a little bit gritty, but I don't find it's too bad. I just, I don't think that I like them enough that I'm going to reach for three different ones. And then I have this single from Il Maquillage in um, Shopaholic. This is in like an Ipsy or a boxy charm or something. And um, it's actually a really pretty shade. I just, I never found myself using it. So I decluttered it to my daughter and then she used it for a while and then gave it back to me. But it's very old at this point. If it was in boxy charm, it's probably about three, four years old now. And it just, it doesn't feel quite the same. And it's starting to smell like Play-Doh. So I'm going to toss this one. Now I have these three Tarte um, chrome paints. And I thought that these were going to be more like a ColourPop Super Shock. Um, but they're like if a ColourPop Super Shock lost all of its binder. But still went on very beautifully. So... I like this purple one. They make a horrible mess, so don't don't buy them. Um, this is in the shade Unleashed. I feel compelled to keep it, but at the same time, like they make such a mess. I don't think I'm ever gonna reach for these. Um, this is the shade Froze. Like. It's so pretty. It's like a pink gold flip. I don't know, I'm a little torn. Um, this is the shade 
Paradise Found, and um, I don't really reach for golds. And you'll notice there's this little um, like stopper in there to like push the product down. Um, I have only ever swatched from the lid. <laughs> And that one's just like a straight, like, champagne-y gold. Um, which I don't care for this shade very much on myself, so I'm definitely going to declutter this one. I'm going to put these in the keep pile for the moment, and I reserve the right to change my mind later. Okay, um, I have two of these from Sydney Grace. Um, this says it's called Welcome to the Family, but I'm not sure that that's the shade that it is. Um, this is completely sealed. This is a lot like the um, Tarte Chrome Paint, so I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. Um, that was in a mystery box, and so was this one. This one does not have a shade. I kind of want to see like is it something that I would wear and I think it is I just want to take a little bit out oh yeah that's gorgeous okay we're gonna keep that and these containers um, I find don't make as much of a mess because they're more like an actual like powder sifter um, and they're not like a tiny little jar where everything just explodes. So keep that. Um, this is a loose glitter from Sydney Grace. This was also in a mystery box. Um, I don't think there's ever a time that I'm going to use a loose glitter so I'm going to declutter that. I have two um, Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows. I have Cosmic, which is this white one, and I absolutely love this. And then just a beautiful topper. I love a good glitter topper. And then I have Glitter Rock. And this one is like a pinky purple kind of shade. Again, just a beautiful, like, glitter topper. So, definitely keeping both of these. All right, let me go get the next category of singles. All right, so this is everything from ColourPop as far as Jelly Mitch and the Glitterly Obsessed. I can tell you right off the bat, I know that I need to declutter, um, get a grip. Um, this was leaking like hardcore. And so I'd be very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> There's like nothing left in it to, uh, bind the glitters together. So it, it definitely dried out, which is fine. It's one of my, and so this white one, is still very nice and glittery. Um, so I'll keep that one. I don't use this very often, but hold on. Let me make sure it doesn't smell too. Oh no, it still smells the way it did when I got it. Um, this one is in Sing to Me Paolo. Uh, so keep that one and toss this one. Actually, I kind of need to make a stack of trash and pass along. Um, then I have Trippin' on Skies. I would be very surprised if these are not, like, super dried out. So this, this one is. It's, it's very flaky and dried out. So I'm going to toss the product and clean this out, but I'm going to keep the jar because I actually like these cute little glass jars. Um, and then I have Starfire, which I'm sure is probably also dried out. Yeah, it's, I, I've rehydrated them before. Um, they were the first glitters that I ever got from ColourPop, and actually in the first order that I ever ordered from ColourPop. I got the whole Blow and Smoke collection. Um, the 
Lizzie McGuire glitter is proving to be very challenging to get off. Whatever. I like glitter. I'm not worried about it. Um, so then I have this Jelly Much Shadow and Hallucinogenius, or Hallucinogenius, and my biggest complaint about these Jelly Much Shadows is how fast they dry out. I don't know if you can see, but that is like basically completely solidified. Um, I did at one point try to rehydrate this and it did not go very well. Uh, I think I let it dry out too much before I tried to rehydrate it. Um, it still has to be somewhat emollient before you try to rescue them. And I had this maybe a month before it started drying out, if that. Um, always keep the little covers that they come with. Now they have like a little thing that says like, keep me or something like that. Um, when I first got my first Jelly Much, they did not have those. So this is from the Star Wars collection, and this one's still nice and creamy, and this one is in the shade Protocol. Um, I don't use these very much, but at the same time, they're really pretty, and I hate to declutter just to declutter it. Um, let me see. I, I feel like I can keep one of these and maybe just toss the other one, or keep the container. <laughs> this one is... Astro Mech. Um, I think this is the one I'd be more likely to keep. Sorry, I just realized that my tripod is like right up against my desk and I keep bumping it. So I apologize if you felt like there was an earthquake. And this is also still very creamy. So like this is more of what they're supposed to look like. And this collection came out in May. I'm actually quite shocked that they haven't dried up. Oh yeah, um, I'm much more likely to wear the second one than the first. I just, I don't love this shade on me. I did try wearing it by itself once. <sighs> I'll keep it. I, I will keep it for now. I don't think it'll survive another declutter for sure. Um, I'm actually going to go... Wow, my whole tripod just went peace out. Hold on. I'm actually going to go wash my hands um, and get this off instead of using my micellar my water and wipe. I'll be right back. This is everything cream, which is excessive. All right, right off the bat, these two from Tarte. This is a liquid chrome paint, um, and this one is in the shade Pride. I'm gonna declutter. It's old, my bad. It's old, I don't use it, I don't need it. I can't pass it along to anyone, it's just gonna go in the trash. Um, same with this one, this liquid chrome paint in the shade uh, Metallic Pigment. <laughs> That's all it says. <laughs> We're going to trash that one. Um, I have two from Ulta Beauty. I don't know, at one point I thought like I was going to be heavy into cream eyeshadows. I'm not really sure why. I don't think I need either of these, so I'm going to pass them on. I have this one in vinyl. And then this one in Vintage Beauty. I think I thought like I would use Vintage Beauty as the base and then Vinyl is like my sparkling shade. I just, I don't need either one of these. I don't know why I bought them. I have this one from REM Beauty and um, I said in a couple of videos I was gonna declutter this. I tried so hard to make this work and it just, it's kind of like the Jelly Mutt shadow but it's a little bit thicker um, it is starting to dry out too. Um, and it looks so beautiful swatched on the back of my hand and so terrible on my eyes. So it's just, it's a no for me. It's, this is going. 
we'll just consider it a very expensive lesson learned. Hold on, I'm getting my stuff mixed up here. All right, this is trash. These are things I can actually pass along because they're unopened or unused. Um, okay, let's tackle these J-Cat ones here in front. I have the shade Wicked Dragon. These are the Prism Metals. Um, and these are like a, they're not a liquid and they're not quite a solid. Like they are a true cream. That's gorgeous. These are so affordable. Like I got these on sale on top of that. Like not only are they an affordable brand, but they were also on sale. Um, this one is Sherbet Snow. Sherbet? Sorbet. I don't know. I don't know how fast they dry out. I assume you can rehydrate them like other cream shadows. Absolutely gorgeous. I really love this one. Um, this one is Frosty Foil. I don't like this one as much. And my dumb butt accidentally bought two. So there's one in the giveaway. It's pretty. It's just, it's not quite like the same texture as the other ones. Um, it's a little bit more like foiled and metallic, which makes sense because it's called Frosty Foil. <laughs> but if you have textured eyelids, it does kind of emphasize the texture a bit more. Um, this one is Chrome Crusher. I really like this one too. It's very pretty. This one's like uber creamy. Just a beautiful like silvery taupe. Yes, please. Um, this one is... Cosmic Candy. I think I remember liking how this one performed on the eyes, too. Yeah, gorgeous. It's just a very light pink that shifts to, like, kind of a little bit darker of a pink. And then I have Very Cool. And this one is like a light lavender. I think I'm more likely to reach for this than I would be the Tarte Chrome Paint. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to declutter this one. Pass that one along. And then I have Rosé All Day. This is the last one of the JCAT Chrome Paints. And this one is like a darker pink, which... I'm not quite as likely to reach for, but since I've already swatched it and it's newer, it's not old or anything, I don't have a reason to declutter it other than it's not quite the shade I wanted it to be, so I'll just keep it. Also, REM Beauty, this is the like liquid eyeshadow in the shade Science Sphere. <sighs> okay. It's very pretty, right? Like, really gorgeous. I don't like the doe foot. It's very large for um, the product that it is. On top of that, it doesn't pick up with a brush very well. It doesn't pick up with a sponge very well. You can blend it out with your fingers, but if you're someone that has longer nails or you have somewhat larger fingers or a smaller eyelid space, it's very difficult to blend it out. The final straw for me was that I had a bad reaction to it and it burned my eyes. So, um, I only kept it around to talk about it in my declutter. Let's do Stila. So, <clears throat> full disclaimer, I got all of these at TJ Maxx. I have a glitter and glow, which is my favorite formula from them. And this is in Tulip Twinkle. These do dry out very quickly. I do not recommend ever paying full price for them. You can rehydrate them with a bit of Duraline. 
Uh, see, this is the same shade as that Tarte pigment that I really like. Um, it just has more glitter in it. Now, while I would be more likely to reach for the Stila over the Tarte Chrome Pot, um, because this one is likely to dry out very soon, I'm going to keep both and um, move on to the Tarte one if I don't find a replacement for it. And then these three are Shimmer and Glows, I think. Are they all Shimmer? Yes. So this one is the shade Grace. And what I learned about myself is that I don't really care for any of these shades on my eyelids. Um, this one is Starlight. I'm always like, ooh, that's so pretty and shiny. And then I go to use it and I'm like, mmm, I don't like how that looks on me. And then this one is the shade Kitten, which is like one of the OG, like, Stila Kitten is like where it's at. So, um... While I'm not likely to reach for these as a cream shadow, I did try using it out as a liner. Uh, I think my method maybe leaves a little to be desired, but overall I think I will be likely to reach for them as a liner, at least until they dry out. So I am going to get my $7 worth that I paid for these at TJ Maxx. Let's do these kind of random ones. So I have an e.l.f. Um, what are you? one of the cream shadows this is in the shade moon and it's a pretty close dupe for Stila kitten like not even gonna lie it's not the same but if you want Stila kitten vibes without the Stila kitten price I don't think you'll be doing too bad for the elf moon I, I need to swatch it somewhere where I'm not covered in glitter to make sure it's not a glittery one. <laughs> I would say it has a little bit more of like a sparkle to it. And then the shimmer and glow has more of like a true like creamy eyeshadow look. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Um, I have this Juvia's Place. This is like one of two things in my whole collection from Juvia's Place. Um, this is the shade Fula, I think. It's the Culture Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadow. You know, if they wouldn't make stuff so long, they wouldn't have to print it so small. I'm just saying. This is actually an absolutely gorgeous shade. Like, it's duochrome. It has, like, this white, purple, blue flip to it maybe some pink, I don't know. There's a lot of pretty colors and it's sparkly and it glitters and I love it. This one is a Winky Lux. This is a chandelier shimmer shadow in the shade Rally. And this is more of like a pinky gold. It's hard to tell what has glitter in it and what doesn't because I have so much glitter on my hand. I don't believe there's really any glitter. There's just like some pretty shimmery sparkle in it like there is in the e.l.f. Of note, the Tulip Twinkle did not come off my hand with just my cellar water and a makeup wipe. I have this Ulta Beauty Glitter Cream Eyeshadow in Psych. And I don't love the doe fit on this, but I'm not opposed to it as long as they like blend out with the finger. And this one does. This is like a pretty like, it's pink. And then the glitter that's in it has like this blue purple flip to it. So it's a pink base, but then with blue and purple duochrome. This is the LA Girl Dream Glitter. This is in the shade Iridescent Dream. This one is still sealed, so I'm going to keep it sealed, but I'm going to keep it. Um, to get a feel for the formula, I have another one that's open, and this one is in the shade Rose Gold. Nothing's wrong with it. I just, I put um, washi tape on my 
products that are in my project pans. And this is like a true rose gold, but so it's got like that pinky bronze shade, but then it's also got the gold. And I find that the pinky bronze shade is more of like the base, and then the gold is like the, the glitter that gives it all that shimmer. <clears throat> excuse me, all that shimmer. So I really like that formula and I'm keeping it. These are two Natasha Denona mini um, chroma crystal liquid eyeshadows that I just got in Ipsy. Um, this one is in the shade Space. I haven't used these on my eyes, so I really can't speak to their formula. Hopefully they perform better than this. They might be dried out, which is going to kind of piss me off because I just got them. I'm going to have to see if I can rehydrate that. So far, I don't like this one. And then I have Disco, which is like a true metallic silver. I would honestly pick any of my drugstore options over these two any day. <laughs> I do not find these very impressive. It could just be because they're old and were in Ipsy and ha had been sitting around for a minute, but I'm not impressed. So now I have my Sydney Grace shadows. Um, I did get most of these either in mystery boxes or in bundles. And then I think I picked up like two in the Christmas and July sale. So these um, don't really have the shade that you can see through them except on the back. I wish this went all the way around to the front. Um, but this is the shade Warm Weather. And okay, I've never used this one, so I think I can pass this one along. It looks like a like rosy bronze and then I know for sure I want to keep my purples I do like these um, so I have glory which is like the silvery metallic shade I like that these can blend out and then they dry down. And when they dry, I don't find that they crease on me. This one is the shade Blossom. And this is more of like a pinky lavender. Oh my goodness. So you have Glory, which is like a silver, purple, and then you have, um, oh my gosh, what did I say this was? Blossom, which is more of like a pinky lavender. And then I have Awakening, which is like a darker, and it only takes like the tiniest bit too. Like these are decent sized tubes. You will have this stuff for a while. I think that's why I also don't feel compelled to keep any that I'm not going to wear. The The glitter in this is not from the shadow. It's from what was left over on my hand from swatches. So those are those three that I'm definitely keeping. Oh, and then I have Alexandrite. Um, and this is a multi-chrome, I believe. Like for me right now, it looks purple, blue, like a greeny silver. I don't know, it's really pretty. Okay, so I know that I have used cliff jumping. Let's see if I can find some room to swatch these. And that's like a really pretty taupey shade. And then I have Campfire that I know I've used. 
I'm running out of room to swatch, but I'm trying to make it through without getting up to wash my hands again. And this is like a darker, like brown shimmer. And then I have Down the Coast. I want to say this is like a lighter silvery lavender shade. Yeah. And then I have um, Destination Wedding, which is like a peachy gold. So I will pass that one along because I know I haven't used that one either. Let me go wash my hands, do a final count, and then I'll be back with the totals for all of this. And then we'll get into ColourPop. I completely forgot about these other loose glitters and pigments. Um, I have these three from J-Cat that literally I got today. Um, this one is in the shade Iris Indigo. Um, this one is Ultra Pink. And this one is Papaya Whip. I think I thought they were going to be like these NYX foil plays. Um, this one is in the shade Booming. So I'm going to have to play around with it and see what I think. It's probably not going to be something I keep... Um, and then this is Milky Way from Makeup Geek. It's really pretty, but um, I just don't tend to reach for these kind of things very much. So I'm going to move that one out and keep these. I actually forgot a loose pigment that was in my Shop My Stash. This is from Makeup Geek and it's um, telepathic. So Makeup Geek is no longer, but um, I do really like this shade or this pigment. I should say, oh gosh, I just spilled way too much of it. That's the only bad thing <laughs> about this. Okay, so that's what it looks like, so watch it out. Oops. Um, but it is a really beautiful, like, duochrome shift. Duochrome? Man, I just add Ys to everything, don't I? So, um... I really like this as an inner corner highlight I have found. It's very beautiful for that. So if you happen upon someone who's decluttering this because they just don't get along with loose pigments, I highly recommend it's beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go put everything away. I would like to add on for my singles. I have these pressed glitters from With Love Cosmetics and I haven't even really swatched many of them. I've used a couple. Um, I waited for them to have a sale and then, I don't know, I was just, I really wanted some pressed glitters, like some quality ones, and these are really nice. Do I have regret? Maybe a little, but I, I definitely will get use out of them. Don't y'all love how I justify things? Um, so I've used some of the white ones in a look. I think this one with the, like, confetti I used, like, around the outer portion of my eye. There are some that have, like, bigger chunks, like this one has hearts, and this one has stars. I wouldn't use those on my eyes, or if I did, I would pick out the hearts and stars, because I'm not trying to tear a cornea. I do wear contact lenses, so it's slightly protected, unless it gets underneath the contacts, in which case that sucks. Anyway, um, I'm not swatching all of these because that's already a mess just with three swatches. But if you would like to see any of these specifically swatched with the names, let me know and I can make time to do that. All right, that's gonna wrap up the video for today. I am being so lazy and I am using the same outro for every single video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. 
I hope that you'll stay tuned for the rest of the declutters and um, collection videos. I had a lot of fun, you know, going through and swatching things and just kind of playing in my makeup again. And uh, if you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye.